Hi guys, so this is the first video that I'm filming at my new flat with my new background which I hope you guys like because this is what you'll be seeing from now on pretty much. Uh, yeah, I feel a little bit strange about filming this because I haven't filmed a proper sit down video in about two months time apart from the you know collab that we did at Charlie's house. So it feels a little bit strange and I feel like I'm a little bit out of practice but Oh well. Today I'll be doing a first impressions review of this product. I'm pretty sure you've heard about it already. It's the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. I know I haven't thought I would ever be doing a review of a post shave balm for men, but here you go. Um, apparently this product works great as a primer. And just a little disclaimer because I feel really weird about calling this video a first impressions review because I've actually been using this product for quite a while and I even mentioned it in one of my favorites videos. I actually think it works great as a moisturizer, believe it or not. Um, it has a lot of glycerin in it. Whenever I use it, my skin feels softer and it feels more hydrated. But I haven't noticed it doing any amazing things when I try to use it as a primer. Um, having said that, I have never used it like side by side to see the difference, so this is what I'm gonna be doing today. I thought I would just film a first impressions video while I'm properly testing it out and kind of give you my final verdict. As I have said, this is a product um, aimed at men and it does smell very manly. <laughs> it smells like a man's cologne, the scent is pretty strong, but it does fade away after like a couple of minutes, so don't worry about that. Um, the consistency, I'm gonna show you, is like very liquidy. So as I have said, I'm gonna apply it to one half of my face, I'm going to apply it on my left side and leave the other side without um, any other primers. Just to see if it makes my pores less visible, if it helps my um, makeup to stand longer and if it helps to control the oiliness or you know the shine of the face. I'm gonna apply it to the left side of my face um, and from what I've heard you have to be like kind of rubbing it in until it gets a bit tacky uh, because apparently that's what helps the foundation to stick on it. I definitely feel it getting tacky now so I think that's fine. I'm now going to apply the foundation I normally use all over my face. I use NARS Sheer Glow and I'm gonna use a brush to apply this time around. I normally use a wet beauty blender sponge but because that makes my foundation always look like kind of seamless and because the sponge contains water I'm just gonna apply it with brush this time around because I feel like the representation of how the product uh, works will be much better. I don't know. When it comes to the application, I feel like the foundation slides on much better on the side where I used uh, the Nivea balm, which is understandable because it is a moisturizer and it made my skin a little bit softer and more like seamless, especially because my skin is dry. So whenever I don't use a moisturizer, it's kind of hard to blend my foundation out because of the dry patches. Um, so yeah, it definitely works. Um, as like a moisturizer. Now let's take a look at the finish. Um, I just went to look myself in like three different mirrors and as of right now I have to say I don't notice um, any differences in terms of the finish um, right after I applied the foundation. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go apply the rest of my makeup and I'll come back to speak to you right after. So I'm back now, I just did my makeup and I did notice one thing. Um, after I applied the powders and everything, I noticed that this side of the face where I used uh, the Nivea Balm looks a lot smoother. Dry skin isn't showing through as much, the pores look smaller and also it doesn't settle as much into the fine lines, especially the lines that I have like around my mouth. Um, so that's great news. It is 2.30 p.m. now and I'm off to the shopping center for a couple of hours and then when I come back I'm gonna sit in front of the camera again and do another check-in I guess. So I'll see you guys later. I just came home and it is almost 7 p.m. So it's been four to five hours since my you know first check-in. Um, as you can probably tell I am shiny um, and I don't feel like the um, Nivea Balm eliminated any of that. 
Um, I also noticed that my foundation like started separating um, and clinging to my dry patches. I personally don't really notice any differences between the left and the right side of my like cheek. Foundation started settling into fine lines on this side of the face as well now. The only difference I noticed is on my chin. Uh, because my foundation started separating quite a lot over here. It is definitely separating more on this side of the face where I'm not wearing the Nivea balm. But I don't know if this is just like a coincidence. Overall, I wouldn't say there's any major differences between the sides. So I don't know if it works. I feel like it doesn't work on me. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go make myself some dinner now. And I'll be back with the last check-in before I go to bed at like, I don't know, 11 p.m. or something like that, so I'll see you then. It is 10 p.m. now, I am sitting here <laughs> in my PJs and I would just really like to take my contacts out and take my makeup off, so I thought I would do the last check-in. Um, so as you can probably tell, my face makeup is looking a little bit worse for wear. That's because I haven't been touching it up um, throughout the day at all. On purpose obviously because I just wanted to see if um, the primer works so it's been about eight hours since I applied the Nivea balm and I guess I can give you my final verdict unfortunately on me it doesn't seem to work or you know do anything special um, at the beginning I was getting a little bit excited because I did feel like the makeup was applying a lot better and um, my pores were a little bit less visible on this side where I used it. But it didn't help with anything else throughout the day, I feel like. Um, I still got shiny. foundation on my chin started separating. Um, the foundation um, did go into fine lines and cling to dry patches. On both sides pretty much equally apart from the chin. So I don't know, I'm a little bit disappointed because I kind of wanted it to work even though I had a feeling that I won't like notice anything special I guess. Uh, but so many girls are saying that this product is some sort of a miracle and on me it just doesn't work like that I guess. I would love to hear what you think about this product in case you have tried it out yourself. That's it. From me, I hope you enjoyed watching this first impression video. If you would like to see more of this in the future, I would be happy to film some more um, featuring other products, obviously. So yeah, if you do want to be seeing them on a regular basis, just let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with my new videos, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!